Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, today, we're peeling back the gilded curtain to reveal a shocking saga that's been unfolding right under our noses. Prince Harry, the self-proclaimed truth-teller, the man who's built an empire on authenticity, is now fighting tooth and nail to keep his own secrets locked away. Oh, the irony, it's like watching a magician desperately trying to hide his tricks while selling a book on magic. But before we dive into this royal quagmire, a quick request hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Why? Because in this era of Sussex-controlled narratives, you need a voice that cuts through the PR fluff. That's me, Ben, your beacon of unvarnished truth in a sea of Hollywood spin. Now let's talk about Harry's latest performance, a high-stakes legal drama where he's not the crusading hero, but a man scrambling to keep his skeletons in the closet. According to reports that are sending shockwaves through both sides of the Atlantic, the Duke of Sussex is in a state of panic. Why? Because his personal court documents are teetering on the edge of public exposure. Imagine that. The same man who's been strip-mining his family's privacy for Netflix gold is now begging the courts to keep his own papers under lock and key. His legal team isn't just working overtime. They're in a state of re alert fighting a desperate rearguard action to seal every last comma and full stop, the question on everyone's lips. What on earth could be in those documents that has Harry, our self-styled open book, so spooked? The plot thickens, my friends. These aren't just any old papers. They're reportedly under the microscope of American government authorities. Yes, you heard that right. The land of the free, home of the brave, is taking a keen interest in Harry's personal files. The burning question. Is there trouble brewing with his visa status? Now let's connect some very big, very controversial dots. There's a growing chorus suggesting that if these details see the light of day, it could spell disaster for Harry's reputation. We're not talking about a minor embarrassment, like being caught wearing socks with sandals. No, this has the potential to be a reputation-shredding, legacy-destroying expose. According to those in the know, Harry was in a flat-out panic last night. Why? Because it looked like the court was about to fling open the doors and let the sunshine in. This is no minor skirmish. It's the first major development since Harry initiated this cloak and dagger legal battle. Now hold on to your hats because here's where it gets truly explosive. The heart of this legal black hole appears to be allegations, yes, allegations, of drug use by His Royal Highness. Let that sink in. The internet is abuzz with speculation that this could be the wrench in the works of Harry's visa application. But wait, it gets worse. There are whispers, loud, insistent whispers, that Harry may have failed to disclose his past drug escapades when he was filling out those all-important visa forms. For those just tuning into the Harry and Meghan saga, let me provide some context. This dynamic duo, the master and her puppet, left the royal family in a huff claiming they wanted privacy. Yet, faster than you can say hypocrite, they've been splashing their dirty laundry across every available media platform. Netflix specials, Oprah interviews, a tell-all book. There's not a secret they haven't monetized. Megan, the architect of this entire operation, has an appetite for the spotlight that makes Hollywood's biggest divas look shy. She's the driving force, the grand puppeteer, manipulating every string to keep their names in bold print. And Harry? He's her willing marionette, dancing to her tune, spilling royal tea for a quick buck. They claim to have fled the suffocating confines of palace life, yet they cling to their royal titles like drowning sailors to driftwood. Just call us Harry and Meghan, they say, while making sure Duke and Duchess of Sussex is emblazoned on every product, every appearance. It's a masterclass in having your royal cake and eating it too. Back to our current drama. According to the 53-page court transcript, yes, there are 53 pages of this stuff. Harry was initially granted privacy rights. He demanded that the judge shield him from further interference. Rich, isn't it? The man who's made a career out of interfering in his family's private affairs now wants a force field of privacy around himself. But here's the twist that's giving Harry's legal eagles night sweats. The presiding judge, John Baugh, has fired a warning shot across their bow. Most of these court records, 
They're not just any old papers. They're law enforcement documents. If they're released, there may be no earthly way for Harry to dodge the fallout. We're not just talking embarrassment or a few nasty headlines. No, my viewers, we could be looking at stigma, reputational ruin, or, brace yourselves, potential criminal charges. An immigration lawyer in lay, someone who knows the ins and outs of the system, has thrown another grenade into this legal minefield. Just the mere mention of stigma in relation to Harry's visa application could spell trouble with a capital T. If this scenario plays out, the consequences for the royal spare could be nothing short of catastrophic. Let's be crystal clear. What we're discussing is largely based on reports and educated guesswork. This case is wrapped in more layers of secrecy than a Russian nesting doll. The courts haven't made their final call, and it's possible. Though with each passing day, it seems less likely that Harry's legal SWAT team might succeed in keeping these documents hermetically sealed. But step back and look at the big picture. The situation for Harry is going from bad to worse, from worse to catastrophic. His lawyers aren't just fighting a legal battle. They're trying to hold back a tsunami with a picket fence. The pressure must be unimaginable. Every time his phone buzzes, it could be news that his carefully constructed facade is about to shatter. This is the ultimate irony, the cosmic joke at the heart of the Sussex saga. Harry and Meghan have built their post-royal brand on being truth-tellers, fearless exposers of the monarchy's dark secrets. Our truth, they call it, as if truth were some kind of a la carte menu. They'd strip mine their own privacy, hawking every intimate detail to the highest bidder. Family tensions, personal traumas, even Harry's frostbitten crown jewels. Nothing's been too sacred to sell. Yet now, when it's Harry's own secrets at stake, when it's his past under the microscope, suddenly privacy becomes sacrosanct. Suddenly, the man who's been playing the victim card like it's the only one in his deck is scrambling to keep his own chapters unread. It's a staggering display of double standards, a hypocrisy so rich it could be served at a royal banquet. The stakes couldn't be higher. If these documents see the light of day, if they confirm the swirling rumors about drug use and visa dishonesty, the fallout will be nuclear. Harry's reputation, already held together with Hollywood tape and Montecito glue, could disintegrate. His future in America, his adopted land of milk, honey, and Netflix millions, could be in jeopardy. More than that, it would expose the fraudulent heart of the Sussex enterprise. They've marketed themselves as the honest outsiders, the ones brave enough to speak their truth to power. If it turns out that Harry's been hiding his own inconvenient truths, concealing facts that might derail his American dream, their entire narrative collapses. They'd be revealed not as principled whistleblowers, but as calculating opportunists, willing to expose others' secrets while burying their own. And let's not forget the puppet master in all this, Meghan Markle. She's the one who's orchestrated their rebranding from royal to rebel. She's used her Hollywood know-how to cast them as the protagonists in a real-life drama, Escaping the Palace, coming soon to a streaming service near you. But if Harry's secrets blow up in their faces, her directorial debut becomes a box office bomb. The timing couldn't be worse. Just as Spare hits the paperback shelves, just as they're gearing up for their next truth-telling project, this legal thunderbolt strikes. It's like watching a magician take his final bow, only to have his hidden wires exposed. The audience that was applauding now starts to boo. So here we are, my dear viewers, watching a royal drama that would make Shakespeare blush. Prince Harry, the man who's made millions spilling family secrets, is now fighting with the desperation of a man whose own secrets are about to be spilled. His team is working round the clock, but they're up against the ticking time bomb of truth. Will Harry's personal secrets remain hidden, locked away in the vaults of the American legal system? Or will they burst into the open, rewriting his story from wronged prince to visa violator? The world is watching, popcorn in hand, as this high-stakes game plays out. One thing is certain, whatever emerges from those sealed documents will reverberate far beyond the courtroom. It could reshape Harry's image, redefine his relationship with America, and strip the varnish off his authentic brand. Most of all, it could expose the deep, dark irony at the heart of the Sussex project, that those who live by the exposed secret may very well die by it. 
Be sure to smash that like and subscribe button before you go so you never miss another juicy royal breakdown from your boy. And trust, with these two nightmares far from done self-immolating, the scalding tea is only just getting started. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Until then thanks for watching, we'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family, thank you.